you know, everyone wants to minimize hypoxia and hyperoxia during resuscitation. So we have a delivery room oximeter protocol. This is a table that sits in the delivery room when 30 years ago, you know, 35 years ago, when I was a resident, the goal was have the, having the baby blindingly glowing um, within minute of delivery. And that's not the process anymore. The process is to get to that blindingly glowing baby by 10 minutes of life, not by one minute of life. Now, we initiate resuscitation with oxygen. We don't initiate with room air and we don't use 30% oxygen. We've always started with 50% and we titrate per the saturation, per the saturation protocol. And, I, and why, do you, why do we start with this level of oxygen? And what we always believe, we know these babies are gonna have VQ mismatch. We know the lungs are poorly developed. We know we need to you know, get enough oxygen in so that the heart is going to be responding. And what's interesting, we've done this forever, is that there was this brilliant study um, from this team out of, out of Sweden that looked at targeted oxygen and the resuscitation of preterm. It's a randomized clinical trial. So brilliant work here, published in 2017. And you read deeply into the paper, and you find this really interesting fact that in the population we're talking about, which is obviously the extremely pre preterm population, if you look at mortality, if you, if you used room air, your mortality was very high, 22%. And if you're associated with 100% oxygen, it cut mortality almost fourfold down to 6%. Now, I don't think you need to use 100% oxygen to resuscitate below 28 weeks since we've spent you know, many decades after decades using 50% and, and uh, actually many of those babies we end up weaning um, since they respond quite well to that. But I think resuscitating with less than 50% is gonna impact the ability to have those patients to survive. I do know that when we did have some people that were not following this and were using 30%, those babies unfortunately ended up passing away within the first week of life from acute pulmonary hypertension which is a problem at 22 weeks with pulmonary hypoplasia and preterm pro prolonged rupture of membranes. So this is one thing that's done differently.